Hey everyone, welcome back to Joshua Wall Trades. Uh, today should hopefully be the day that we get to put this 484 back together again, fire it up and see if all of our work paid off and the hydraulics function as they should. But uh, yeah, it's a little soggy outside, so we'll see how the weather progresses, but um, I am under a cover, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing put back together. All right, so I'm gonna start off by getting the uh, master cylinders installed. And um, I've got them labeled left and right. So let's start on the left. Actually, I'm gonna put the right one in first because it's probably gonna be in the way. So I'm gonna start on that guy. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the right side since it's the hardest to get to. And then go from there. All right, so I've got the left and right master cylinders in. Now I'm going to attempt to install this guy, which will be quite the challenge. I've got the adjusters for the balancing installed loosely so I can move them around if I need to, but we'll see how it goes. We'll just go one part at a time. Well, got both master cylinders and the brake equalizer installed. Now I just got to hook up all the lines. All right, well that was difficult. Got the both cylinders in and the um, brake equalizer. Now I just have to hook up the hydraulic lines and then we'll be ready to start filling the transmission. All right, so I've got the uh, drain plug, or the fill plug out, and I'm going to try to wedge a, this funnel in there. There we go. And I talked to a guy who used to sell these specific tractors, and he said, obviously, if you can use high trains, use high trains. It's very expensive for oil, he said, but they found that the Traveler's hydraulic oil um, works just fine. So that's what I'm going to use, because he's smarter than me. And uh, I lost enough to get off of the dipstick. So I don't know how far off the dipstick I am, but I'm just gonna add a bit and check. I don't have a whole lot left. So if I need to go get more, I'll just go get more. I've got some other things I can pick up on there. So I'm just gonna fill and check, fill, check. Oh, hey, that might've been enough. Might've been too much. I'm sure once I fire it up, it'll clear itself out. All right, well, that looks like it is full, actually beyond full, but everything is empty right now, and there's a whole bunch of lines that need to fill up. So I am going to go ahead and put this cap back on for now, just by hand, 
and then I'm gonna clean my mess up because they've got stuff everywhere. And then, uh, yeah, we'll hook the battery up and fire her up and see if we can't run the hydraulics for a little bit. All right. Well, I've got everything hooked back up except for the battery. Do that right now. And we'll start it and see. Uh, it's probably going to crank for a little bit, I'd imagine. It's been a minute since the uh, injector saw fuel after changing the uh, fuel filters. So, snug that down. I've got a chalk on the wheel so I don't move it around once I lift up the bucket. Everything's slippery because it's covered in hydraulic fluid. But, open this up. nothing and then all of a sudden it just worked so that is fantastic i am super stoked um now all that's left is to bleed the brakes and put the covers on and uh yeah it it's alive so i'm gonna get these brakes bled um i won't film that because i need help for that but i will show you where i'm bleeding the brakes and what the process is and then uh I'll get my lovely wife to help me bleed the brakes and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. All right. <laughs> All right, so apparently I scared the bejesus out of my wife whenever I started yelling and hooping and hollering about this working. She came running out thinking I was stuck under the tractor. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, like I said, she's going to help me bleed the brakes. She doesn't like to be on camera, so I will just talk to you and explain what we're going to do. So on either side of the bell housing, there's a bleed screw right there. And uh, you just have somebody with the tractor running, so the pump's running, um, have them pump the brakes until they start feeling something. And then you just crack it with them holding their foot down. And then while their foot's down, you close it back, they pump it. You repeat this until the fluid coming out is a clean uh, stream. There's one there. And then the other one on the right side is a little more tricky to get to but it's right right in there let's see go yeah there we go that's it 
Right there. Come on, focus. There we go. That's it. Right there. So, like I said, they'll pump, 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 and they'll hold it. You crack it, close it, and they'll let go and start pumping. Again, do this until clean uh, stream comes out of there, no bubbles or anything. And then your brakes will be bled, and you'll be ready to roll. Some people just open it up and pump the pedal. Um, the With my past history with brakes, I uh, am a little bit more... Uh, concerned about proper bleeding but anyhow I'll go ahead and get that done and then we'll film this thing moving around All right, so there you have it. It runs, it drives, it stops, it lifts, it puts stuff down. Oh, that's a relief. Man, I've been waiting to have a tractor for a while that works. We've been putting off a lot of stuff on the farm. So uh, super happy to have everything back together and functioning the way that it should. Um, I do have a new fuel line that's for that one that's seeping. I do have one on order. I did find one, it was like 50 bucks. And uh, when that gets in, I'll put it on and then change the oil and I'll be able to put all the body panels back on and we will have a functioning tractor after a year of owning it. So anyhow, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I'll post a video once I've got everything completed on it. And uh, if you liked what you watched, uh, just please feel free to click subscribe, um, comment, share, all that good stuff. Um, 
You can also find me on Facebook at Joshua Wall Trades Blacksmithing and on Instagram and TikTok as Joshua Wall underscore trades. So um, feel free to check me out there. Subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. Keep following along for more videos.